Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Infidium Strike. France here as always and this is brought to you by Codex Worlds. This is where you're basically going to be controlling a gigantic, well maybe not gigantic, but anyway you'll be controlling humanity's last hope of defense with a giant spaceship while fending off everything known to man and not known to man so to speak. You'll be controlling this, you'll have defensive ship, uh, you build its turrets and so on and so forth. If you have drones, you have special abilities. Let's quickly go into the settings menu though. Fitness menu, I'm loving this. There is a lot in this. Now it does say desktop resolution, but you can also change it. Now of course I am running at 1080, so that's always quite nice to see. Uh, bring that back please. So you get sound settings, which is all nicely broken down. If these do need to alter during the game, I will do that. Gameplay settings, of course, you've got all these going on as well. Game tips, it will leave them on just now. And control settings, there is a lot in this game. It's very pleasant to see. So let's uh, just do that. You can also put social media, you've got promotions code. You've got a bunch of stuff in there if you want. Let's start the game so you guys can see really what Infidium Trick is all about. Entry point from the TSF Chronicle. In the 22nd century, mankind harnessed the power of dark matter, paving the way for interstellar travel. I just noticed there's no subtitles. Didn't see any notes that in the game, but I'll hush up so you guys can hear this. For decades, humanity prospered. But in 2150, the ROG came. Hailing from an unknown solar system, the ROG refused to respond to any and all attempts at peace or diplomacy. They eradicated our colonies, they destroyed our fleet. And they stole our dead. They're Space rather terrifying. To combat this menace, but it was unsuccessful. And for 20 years, we suffered loss after loss, scrambling to maintain control over our last inch of space. Until now. Operation Freedom, a last desperate gamble, may prove to be our best hope for victory. The largest ship ever built, the TSF Freedom Strike, utilizes living metal, Infinium, to self repair create weapon systems, and print endless drone ships. It can adapt, it can rebuild, and it may very well win this war. Now I'm all, I love space titles when they're done right and I love sort of tower defense and love strategy games. This seems to be like some not sort of a mix of that which is really fantastic. So for this mission, let's see, so do we, are we going in this? Can this stay still? Arcade, so that's expert mode, battle instruction recommended. How about we find out how to kind of like so captain? Yeah, normal. Let's just play this. Let's learn a little bit about the game so you guys get. Oh, okay. So, Infinium Strike, the long range railgun only targets rogue battleships and deals huge amounts of damage. But then it can't just uh, fight all the fighters and everything. This game looks slightly, utterly terrifying as well at the same time, which I totally approve of. But also looks absolutely fantastic. The model work is incredible in this set already. That is one hell of a good looking battleship. This exercise is designed to provide a realistic battlefield experience by simulating real combat conditions. As Freedom Strike's weapons officer, you have total control over the deployment of Freedom Strike's defensive systems, including its full view roving battleground camera system. By learning to properly utilize these tools, you will be able to maximize Freedom Strike's battlefield potential. Well, okay, so TFS does its main weapon system Freedom Strike, Resource, Infium gathered from Rock Salvage, TSS Fleet, Massive Drone Defense System, Fleet Points accumulated every second, Super Tech, Special Ship Technologies, Resource None, but has a lengthy charge time. Fair enough. So the turrets are basically based off everything you kill. Pick a quadrant, uh, so we got our quadrants here, which is going to be up here. So basically this is going to be like you have the tower from each individual bit. This could get really much of a handful, but I'm totally okay with that. Select turret, place the turret. Okay. Infinium amount. Okay, it's an infinium. Star credits. Total rocks killed. Shield power. Armor. Mission timer. Quadrant. Obviously, tactical map is. Wait, number eight. Tactical map. Oh, okay. Pause menu. And 10. Uh, portal warning. Number 11. What? Ah, okay, so qu which quadrant are going to appear in as well? Okay, 12, 13, da, 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 da. okay. Well, All right. Oh, this is cool. Can you go between these? Yep, you can press the keys as well, which is always nice to see. All right, so. Now, guys, I've also noticed that I actually was checking something. That's really why it's been paused and there might be a slight cut. This game's actually running in 30 FPS, and I can't actually seem to get it up to 60. I don't know if that's been deliberate. 
Use yeah. the mouse wheel to move the camera forward and back. Oh, that is cool. Banks or down the quadrants into deep space. Use the right mouse button to rotate the camera. Oh, that Try is really now. cool. So you can, yep, that is actually really. So you can actually see an entire battle going on. This could get nuts. I can't I understand why it may be. The portal warning system in the bottom left-hand corner indicates a small rock portal in rock portal opening or in quadrant one. one. All right, let's uh, shove on some missiles. Pad not powered. What? What do you mean not powered? Don't be doing that. Let's add some pulses. Select quadrant Q1 in the upper right hand corner. The camera will center on the selected turret bank for the selected quadrant. Bye bye. Don't be doing that. Kill him. These guys are okay. That one. Select one of the empty boxes to the right to open the turret menu, or select the turret icon. Then build a pulse laser in quadrant one or Q1. I already have. Got a pulse laser there. Can you upgrade it though? How can I actually upgrade this? Pick the correct turret to target the right type of ship. In this case, the pulse laser turret will shoot down the stingers in sector one. No. All right. Putting that should completely new. Turrets next to each other gives both turrets a bonus. Oh. The second pulse laser turret next to the first one. Well, we've got them. Yep, yep, yep. We have two. It's always nice. So what if we sell this one then and we just put put down another one then? Is that going to pair them up? Oh, we can actually see the color actually upgrade changes them. Upgrade turrets increases fire rate and damage. Click on a turret to open the upgrade menu. Already upgrade have done. Pulse laser turrets. They're all upgraded. What is that? What is this? This is bigger. Wait, can I like go over and view these? I can actually go out in space. This a is kind of cool. Rog portal has opened in sector two of quadrant one. That is Rog cool. Cruiser ships called Berthas are heading toward us. Well, I have a heavy pulse turret. To it's fine. I've already got one. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Rock ships always stay in the quadrant they warp into. You have one of them. Have two of them. One of them and one of them. The have a fun. System in the lower left hand corner shows the direction of the rock attacks and what type of ships are coming. Freedom Strike Upgrade the Base. The center button of the quadrant selector brings up the tactical map. Every enemy in battle will show up on this radar. Oh, that is actually really cool. That's what I meant by the tactical map. Interesting. Okay. No problem. So with Super Tech, what do we got? Super Armor, Super Salvage. What have we got here? Upgrade Base. The quadrant has three sectors. Choose the best turret to defend each sector based on which ROG ship is turret current. Turret not, pad powered. not powered. Can we turn another power ones on? Do you need to actually upgrade the ship to get that, maybe? And that may be what that's to do with. Let's see what it is. Infinium needed. Game Turret pad pad not powered. in the pause menu, labeled X in the upper Infinium right hand corner. Needed. Click the pause menu at any time. Super pulse? No. Oh. So you can actually just pause the game. Okay, no problem. Fairly straightforward to how you actually work in the game, though. That's it's always quite good, and I'm quite liking this. I'm actually really liking this. I'm loving this, actually. So we got that. So it actually tells you how many could you could you actually select this? And, yep, you can, and hit the keys. I don't want to do that in case our recording stops. But let's have a Infinium super. Needed. That costs as much as an upgrade costs. Holy crap! One. Yeah, I'll be fine. Or repairs. Click TSF Super Tech. And then super armor. Super armor activated. There we go. Deploy shield shot. Not ready. Oh, fine. Be that way. What happened to our ships? A small rock portal is appearing in quadrant two. Stingers are headed to sector one. Select Q2 on the quadrant selector to move the camera to quadrant two. Rock portal opening in quadrant two. Uh, 
Ah, crud. We're gonna need. Launch three TSF Star Ace fighters to attack the invading force. There we go. Oh. Not really doing much to that, but oh well. It's quad one doing okay. Yeah, they're doing okay. I can see how this could get a bit crazy. Upgrade Freedom Strike to open up more weapons and increase the ship defenses. Can actually. Ow. That's what I get for upgrading all them at the start, but lesson learned. They should be okay. These guys, not so much. You guys get out there. Oh my. Um, can I get one of these yet? Put one of them down. Fire, please. Build a super pulse turret to shoot this massive ship. I would, but I don't have money. No, I have money. Shoot that thing. I got a fire? Oh, wow. Build a K turret to shoot the projectiles launched by the Dominator. Let's use these things, though. The little guy, you may want to go that way. So that's, that's that actually doesn't take that it takes a long time. That thing is massive. Remember to check the TSF super tech to use these special weapons. They power up every 90 seconds. Super salvage act super armor activated. Ha! Have at the uh, ow. Whoa, okay. What the hell should that? Super salvage doubles the amount of infinium salvaged from rock ships. Let's click this just now. We have that giant ship. These guys are handling just fine, but that's that gone. Excellent. Can I upgrade this again? No, it costs twenty thousand or twenty million. Warning: A large amount of rock ships are headed towards Freedom Strike. Where? From where? Well, I'm gonna let that out. Oh, cool. Infinium needed. Where from? Build Number one. Turrets in the remaining turret banks in quadrant three and quadrant four. I build when we need them. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. That has a portal warning. Portal warning. So three has portals coming. All right, let's see. If we build a one pulse. Finish this battle. The portal warning system indicates portals opening up in all quadrants. Oh my. Uh, put down a key missile. Oh my, good heavens, stop that. Put in one of them. But you just don't have this sort of thing happen. Heavy pulse laser. And pulse. Heavy pulse laser seems like a good. T oh my good heavens. So the one. Uh, these guys are useless at this, so. Upgrade. Super armor just now because this can't do anything right now. That is powered. Super pulse, excellent. Number two. Ow. Okay, that hurts. Right, you should be upgraded. Can't upgrade you. You guys are a pain in the butt. Deploy one of these guys to help it. Give me shields critical. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa.
Look at this thing. This is not going very well. Like at all. What the hell? Like, these guys are okay. Maybe not. That needs an upgrade. Realize that this doesn't have one of these guys. Upgrade that. Well, it should be available, right? So, freeze gone. One. Launch one of them just now. Three. Quadrant 4 has quite a lot of, of giant as hell ships. That's down, so we need to focus on 4 right now. Guys, anybody want to. Sell. 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 4. Sell that for another super pulse. Wait point needed. Super armor activated. Phew, there we go. Sell that one, sell that one, put another one. Things are painful. Send out one of these guys. Here, have fun with that. I'm liking how you can go out of the battle, but I know that we kind of that, that was taking a little getting used to. That gets a bit nuts, but I would get free. I didn't get free stars, did I? Nope. Oh, very nice. Let us continue on though, so you guys can see a little bit more of this game and see what it has to offer. That is a lot of stuff. The Reaper Evaporator Ball instantly destroys a turret, however the projectile can easily be shot down by K-Missile. As long as it's paying attention. Doesn't seem to be you can take like immediately control of it, so Deep Space Expert Mode, no let's not do that. That is locked, so is there any upgrades? Codex, Player Profile, more Galactic Map, more... oh okay. You know what, let's just do this. Kill all enemies. No problem. I'm quite enjoying this. I'm liking it as someone like a tower defense, tower not tower defense, but keeps you in your tools. We only got to live that dream for 50 years. We didn't know their actual name, but they appeared without warning. We couldn't negotiate. They wouldn't communicate. And for the next 20 years, despite our best efforts, colony after colony fell. But we studied their tactics, and now we may finally have the means to strike back and personal log. It's time to move on and kick some more ass. Don't forget to use the tactical map to view the whole battlefield. So it's a good way to obviously see, like, you had these big ships. I did feel like it's a little bit deceiving, like, but the way it looks like you're at this big massive ship. So you can't actually quite tell how big those warships are actually out there. Then notice that when you click the the tactical map, they were massive. Now, I do believe that... Clear all quadrants. Secondary systems, fleet and super tech, still under repair. Tactical officer, prepare to man turret weapon systems. Alright, so that tutorial gave us everything we could use, just you're not allowed to use it anymore. How oh, great. I like the super tech, dang it. No, let's not let's get this away. Oh, these are both actually... Oh, really? Crud. Right, okay, let's uh, place that there. We can upgrade the base eventually, so but we'll wait and see what actually spawns so we know what we can build, what we actually need to build. Now, there's actually yellow coming along there. I'm assuming this actually means something of. Portal opening in quadrant one. Right. Store Infidium, Army Integrity 50%. Who use? Could put a heavy pulse laser right there. Because we already got a yellow one coming in there. Put that there. Upgrade them. Yeah, that's getting them pretty darn far. Good, good, good. I'm wondering if the upgrades stay or you need to redo them. That will be something that we... Alright, these guys are getting these guys. It's 
That's gonna be not to spend us basically. So that's wave two of two already. No problem. So I'm just not gonna spend any more money. There's another one down. So we're build a powered up timer is 90 seconds between. Well, you're not letting me use any of them, so that's still group number one. Don't think there's any sort of speeding up this at all. Doesn't appear to be. I don't want to place another one and take up like that, but how if we could upgrade that? What is it to upgrade? Rock portal opening in quadrant one. Let's just upgrade that just now. So that's level three, that's level two. So you place it more next to them, I was saying automatically increases the level, which is pretty cool. Can't even see oh, hi. Alright, we don't even have anything for that, but we do have a key missile that could possibly defend us from anything heavy, though. We need to if we can upgrade this to actually take them on. Armor is only repaired by upgrading the ship or using super tech abilities. Oh, brilliant. We have a lot coming in. Upgrade that. Increase its speed. Upgrade, come on. If we could upgrade the base, that might be good. There we go. We can actually add super pulse lasers now. Okay. Except it costs an absolute fortune that we don't have. But that can stop the this attacking for now. Because that will do serious damage to us. Come on, give me the super pulse laser. It, well, he get vaporized. And I can't shoot you right now. He's too far away to actually shoot at. That's the only thing. It's going to 750. Build that just now. Because that's the only thing that can fire that, really. Fire, please. There we go. See, it can hit you after all. The sound quality of the game is actually pretty good. You, you've got this almost spooky, like space theme going on but look at the size of this thing this actually looks incredible and the game's not budging for 30 fps which is really nice to see but this is actually really cool now that quadrant looks bigger but it's not actually it's just four and four yeah it's just nicely it's kind of split the front obviously being the way it is come on kill that thing somehow i wish i could send out ships one more hit and that should be no wait that's that was lying it hit its health bar that was mean you don't hide your health bar. So you've got a 20% bonus. I'm guessing if you put more of like if you put four of them in a line together, it's gonna to create like an incredible amount of defense. And some people will probably play this like they'll quickly switch out and end turrets, because you get about 50% of your value back. But if you do that, then you could probably kill things a lot quicker. There we go. Excellent. Nice wee victory. I'll do the next mission so you guys can get a good feel for the game. Kill rogs. Rogs, should I say. Nice. Now, do we actually get an upgradey type thing, or does it does it stay, or do you need to upgrade as you go? Because that could be slightly awkward, but I could understand. Because it's a tower defense game. Usually, you start from the beginning, although you will have upgrades where you can get the fleet and everything accessible. Now, that's that one. Mission one. That is advanced instructions unlocked after mission three. Escape the supernova. All right. And of course, you've got that deep space arcade mode, which is export its mode. Its official name is Cybergen 119, but we all call it Living Titanium. Some sort of super alloy made for using Infinium. You can program it on the fly to build almost anything. We used to mine the Infinium from depleted star cores, but we found out that the ROG salvage was rich with the stuff. So now, just by killing the ROG, we're ensuring that Freedom Strike has the means to keep fighting. The ROG war may seem dire. I decided you probably want to choose a bit more gameplay than the, the, the voice acting is absolutely superb of the game though and the game looks amazing but we want to see a bit more gameplay so you can see kept on your tails oh okay advanced controls I don't want advanced controls I'll just stick to scan mode what 
Oh, okay. Long range sensor show portals open in quadrant one and two. Prepare weapon systems. All right. Uh, we don't have the upgrades again. All right. Fair enough. Uh, let's put you there. Rock portal opening in quadrant one. So I actually built two of these guys just now, so it gives them a wee bit of bonus. Do we want to upgrade? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, no, I get, I get the point of using that. I wonder if there's a way to turn them off. Four's at the back. That'd be something like two's already opening. Um, heavy pulse laser. Let's put you right there. Oh, we're going to have meet friends there as well. Shields do regenerate, which is nice to see. Right, that should be okay if taking that down. It's also these guys coming in as well. There's so many ships coming in. Oh my. Okay, Crawdon 1 needs a lot of help. If we do that, that actually increases them up even more. We can sail that after a bit, but there is actually so many ships coming in. What just came in in number two? Oh, one of them. Let's get some upgrades going. They, well, they're doing okay. There's so many of them. But we're not taking enough damage to kind of get a bit freaked out or anything, but... Uh, ow. Where the hell did that come from? Still just one portals coming in. Uh, don't see any more coming in. I don't see anything for speeding up the game. But then again, it's this sort of game I don't think I really want to. But you never know. I kill them. There is so many coming in there. So, so very many. These guys are doing okay. They don't have as many. That is almost done, so that'll be good. That's that one down. You're dead. They're okay. And kill this little guy. There we go. Excellent. Right, so there's another white portal coming in, which seems to be the, the colors. The white portal's level level 1, orange is level 2, red level 3, where it's all, everything's going to fall apart. So we've got these guys coming in from here, so... What if we... Don't know which ones to upgrade. Maybe upgrade this one. Rock portal opening in quadrant 1. I think le no, they can actually be upgraded even more. Can't upgrade the base, because I don't know if that would actually give us access to that. Because I might sell that and then put a K-missile if we need it, depending on what actually happens here. Where the hell? Where'd that go? Where is that going? Someone shoot that. I'm loving how you can see this. So, middle mouse button actually seems to be button to click away as well. It's always a good thing. Might try and upgrade this though. Oh, Quad 2 has got some friends and family there as well. That should do a bit more damage as well. There's so many of these opening up, so... These are probably going to need an upgrade. Make sure they're coping with the Addy Pritcher. We seem to have taken hull damage somehow, somewhere. What the hell happened to our shields? Oh man, okay, um, we need a little bit extra help here. Add one of these in. Crud. Let's 
upgrade that because we're gonna need it apparently we're getting swarmed a bit this yeah 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 sell that one and put uh heavy pulse that is getting swarmed there number one's getting swarmed by heavier attack though We need to upgrade the base again to repair it, but it's quite a little bit of weight. We can actually up the speed. Right, what's coming towards us this time? I'll get him. There we go. That's a victory. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for Infinium Strike. You can find the Steam link down below. Thank you for watching. Just smash look of it. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. It's uh, an interesting take on sort of tower defense or, or action tower defense. And I shall see you guys next time.